Plane equipped with special technology will be flying around Kansas City this weekend. Its mission to survey hundreds of miles of sewer lines underneath the city. Andres Gutierrez spoke exclusively with the pilot who will be responsible behind the controls tonight. Andres. Hey there, good evening, Mark. The pilot is actually getting ready as we speak right now here at downtown airport. Uh, overall, there are more than 2,000 miles of sewage lines here in Kansas City, but over the next three nights, they will be focusing on 300 of those miles over some of the roughest terrain in our area. The reason why the city has hired him to do this is twofold. In his 33 years as a pilot, Larry Davis has flown for the Marines, done work with the CIA, but now his skills and equipment is helping cities fight a common occurrence with aging infrastructure, leaks. We can't see heat with our eyes, um, and a lot of times these things can only be detected in the infrared, infrared spectrum. Flying at 1,500 feet, Davis is using this thermal imaging camera to produce high-resolution photos like the ones you see here. The white spots and streaks are called thermal anomalies. It's one of usually three things. A sewer line leak, could be a freshwater leak, or could be a natural groundwater seep. Last year, Davis found 109 of them. The city says the surveying is also a preventative measure to keep the water supply safe. The other reason... It's a, a very efficient way to get this work performed. Andy Shively, the engineering officer for Kansas City Water Services, adds that it would take more than a year for a team to manually go through the terrain that Davis will cover this weekend. Since they started using Davis' services five years ago, the city has saved more than a quarter of a million dollars. The flight are only during the winter time because they produce the best images. As much as uh, Kansas City would like for it to warm up the next three days, we would like for it to stay very cold the next three nights while we perform this work. And once the city, the water department rather, receives the initial findings from the pilot, they will go ahead and launch crews on the ground to investigate. Reporting live in downtown Kansas City, I'm Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.